company. Right now, time for us to catch some DIY tips with expert Andrew Donkin, who shows you in today how to make a raised dog bed. You might want to try this out at home. It'll surely make you your dog's best friend. For this morning's DIY, we're going to show you how to spoil your pets a bit. Make something special and the man to show us the ropes is Andrew Duncan, our builder's DIY expert. Andrew, this could be none. Nice and fun. Yeah, no, this is easy, simple, fun. It's going to look cool and funky. Your pets are going to love it. And the most important thing, it's going to blend in with your home, with your furniture around and the surroundings. I can't wait to get started. So yes. what do we need? Right, normal process. Start off with a cutting list and a plan. Okay, follow the plan. You give that to Builders Warehouse. They'll cut it all for you. It makes life easy. All that's left behind is the fun part of assembling it together. So we are going to be uploading this plan onto our website, expressoshow.com. You can go check it out right there. Also, we're going to use a set square. We've got a pencil. We've got a drill. We've got a tape measure. We've got a jigsaw. We've got our pedestal legs. We've got our set of screws. And we've got some spreader clamps. And of course, we've always got the cordless drill. And what's nice is we're going to stain it up with a bright, funky color at the end. It's going to look a little bit different than your average stained timber. Andrew, let's kick off. What's going to be the first step? The first step, we actually want to change the shape of the size of this box bed that we're making for the dog. Yeah. Quick, simple trick. It's a plate, not for snacks this time. You know, I thought you were going to bring up the snacks, but it's, you know, wishful thinking, I guess. had enough of those already. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I'm just going to push that up, line it up, take a pencil, and then mark it around. And now we use the jigsaw to just cut that out. Exactly, yeah. so we'll bring it out, hang it over the edge of our bench, clamp it down with a spreader clamp just to hold it into place, and then we're going to go all the way around with our jigsaw. Remember to protect your eyes with industrial goggles because cutting the wood with a jigsaw can be dangerous. Try and stay as close to the line as possible as you cut. Now we're going to mark up all our timber and drill our holes exactly according to the plan. Now, what I've done is at the beginning of my plan, I see which bit goes where and I actually mark up each panel. Put a bit of masking tape on there, stops a bit of confusion, helps you actually do it quicker, neater and uh, easier. And easier. We yes. like DIY because right. it's easy. That's it. <laughs> Let's actually just uh, put, basically assemble it dry, should we say, just so you can see what we're actually putting together. Okay, so okay. it goes like this. This guy goes on the front. Right. Okay. Now, but on every mating surface, we're going to put some wood glue and then screw it together with the screws. Apply wood glue to the ends of the wood surfaces, then push them together and clamp them using the spreader clamps. Next, drill the clearance holes. Apply wood glue to the other side and clamp together. Then fasten the pieces using the 50 millimeter screws. And look at that, taking shape very nicely. Yep. Very quick and easy. Um, basically, all you're going to do now is give it a light sanding down, get, in, get rid of any sharp edges and splinters. Um, what you can do is also fill the holes with wood filler and sand it down once it's dry. Um, but let's go to put the legs on. OK, let's do that. Let's pop this around. Once the frame is upside down, use a pencil to mark the four screw points. Then remove and draw the holes. Then just fix the legs to the frame using the 16 millimeter chipboard screws. Look at that. Yep. Beautiful. There you have it. How cool is that? That's very cool. Right, should we give it some color? I've got a bright red stain which we're going to use on this timber. And then once we've done that and we've given it enough time to dry, we're then going to seal it with some wood seal. The stain used here is Woodock Gel Imbuia. You might want to apply up to three coats to get the desired color. Wow, look at this color, man. Looks cool, looks funky, bright and exciting, I must admit. <laughs> to make your own, mark quarter circles on the timber, then cut the pieces using a jigsaw. Next, drill your holes and apply wood glue to the ends of the wood. Then attach them together, clamp them and secure your screws. Turn the frame over and screw the legs. Then stain the wood and once dry, apply two coats of Boulder's wood sealer. Your dog will love you forever.
simple and easy. And hopefully you might want to be, or you might be inspired to try that out at home. In fact, if you are, then enter our builders competition to stand a chance of winning a 250 rand builders voucher. All you got to do, as always, SMS the keyword builders, including your name and city, to 33728. That's builders, your name and city, to 33728. Remember that SMSs cost 1 rand 50. No free SMSs apply, but T's and C's do apply. Right now, Leanne is about to get a big cooking lesson in the kitchen. It's walk 101.